We're just starting to have a real appreciation for how much gut health impacts your overall health and how important it is to have a healthy gut. And Harith at Fractal with the Revita platform and technology, you're helping address these at the core root issue of gut health. What are you doing? The gut is the body's largest endocrine organ, hormone producing organ, the body's largest nervous system outside of the brain and the body's largest immune system. And what we've discovered that was the genesis for Fractal is that our modern diets that are high in fat and sugar are causing specific changes to the lining of the gut and the hormones that it produces. And in particular, a section of the intestine called the duodenum starts to overgrow when it's exposed to the high fat, high sugar diets that are present in the diets that we eat on a routine basis that our ancestors never would have eaten. And the changes that are occurring in the duodenum appear to be the root cause of insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. So what Revita does is it's a device-based platform that performs a regenerative therapy on this region of the gut called the duodenum. And by allowing the body to heal itself from the therapy that we deliver, we're resetting the body back to a more natural set point. Diabetes is a major problem with 400 million plus people around the world suffering from. Solving it today with medication is really what's being done. You're talking about solving it at the root cause. We've done a great job of developing all sorts of medicines that can lower your blood sugar, but they're putting a Band-Aid on the disease, they're not actually treating the root cause. You can override it with medicines, you can try to even override it with diets, but you're fighting against this new physiology. Regenerative therapies like you've developed with Fractal are new. And there's obviously all the inherent risks of something new. What do you see as the biggest risk in, in treating the duodenum the way you are? It's taken us a long time to determine how best to treat the duodenum in a safe and effective manner. And before we started, there are tools to deliver instruments into the duodenum to treat the lining of the duodenum did not exist. But through years of experience um, in animal models and now in humans, I think we've developed something that has demonstrated that it can be potentially quite safe and very effective across a large proportion of the population. Where else do you think it can be applied? Insulin resistance also has an effect on the liver, which causes a disease called NASH, is currently the most common cause of liver failure and indication for liver transplant in the United States. There are no therapies for NASH today. In addition, the same insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome causes the ovaries in many women to produce male sex hormones instead of female sex hormones. And that in turn causes a disorder called polycystic ovary syndrome, which is the world's leading cause of infertility. By treating the duodenum with our therapeutic platform and improving metabolic syndrome as we do, we're seeing benefits not just in glucose lowering, 